Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bay Brigade. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotionals. And this one is for Tuesday, April 23rd. And uh, on Tuesdays, I read our prayer list. And um, so I'll uh, read that and then I'll read the devotional. Um, I'm a few minutes late, but me and my family had a great loss today. So y'all you know, just have to forgive me, okay? Uh, our prayer list goes as follows. Wayne Wright Dorson, Jody Fink, Krista Sorrells, Kelly Maneer, Cindy and Robert and uh, with Pups and Crochet in their extended family. Um, they've had some really bad news this week, so just keep them in uh, your prayers with their extended family. Linda Coulter and family, Marsha Norton and family, Lisa the Grammy, Deborah Hypes, Camper 14, also known as Tina, Llama Mama Kayla and Big Daddy, Sheena Sorrells, Destiny Sorrells, Mama G Gear, Linda, just another crochet sister, Rachel Crawley, Flynn, Paula and Don Mahoney, Nakima Bias, Dwayne and Michelle, Karen Woodward, Annette Delaney, Brandy Shaw Walter, Vonda Strauser, Serena, Debbie Wheeler, Debbie A, Melanie, Donna R, Lisa, Eric, and Diana, Afton, Lisa, um, I'm sorry, Sarah in England, Devon Jenkins, Cherie Carr and family, Crystal, Mary Jane, Jacob and family, Terrell and David Owens, Dee Dee Christensen and John Warden, Angela Brenham, Michelle J, Dwayne Roberts, Eva and Johnny Williams, Ariel, Rick Harris, Shannon, uh, the Spoonie Stitcher and her family, Angela Turner and family, Dana Clark, Thriss and Stitches, Tamara, Glendala uh, McCorkle, Carolyn Cartwright, Deanna Young and family, Jill and Jonathan, Sheila Emerson, Rochelle Smith and family, uh, Miriam Fernandez and family, Bonnie Myers, Angela Harris, Chuck, um, Mary Jo's husband Jim, Elaine Good, Crystal Cece, Lydia, and Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth. So if you would remember those folks in your prayers, I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'm sure they would as well. Uh, our prayer list grew when I did my live Saturday night. Um, our devotional starts with a um, Bible verse and goes as follows. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? John 5, 6. In our inspirational story, the story of Jesus' healing of the lame man at the pool of Bethesda, John 5, 2 through, 2 through 9, verses 2 through 9, intrigues me. The man sat poolside for days, weeks, months, and finally 38 years never reaching the water which superstitious super yeah superstitious legend at the time stated would give healing to the first person in the pool when the water stirred i wondered if he grew weary of the helplessness of losing the race and yet he doggedly continued i get that i've spent years waiting for a miracle, like the man, sometimes just showing up is all I have left. I've raced to the waters only to find I've been beaten to the blessing once again. I've waited until my backside was sore from doing nothing and perfected excuses for my lack of success. Could I, or the man at the pool, have allowed this problem to become so familiar that it became part of my identity. I forgot J Jesus stood beside me all along, asking that one simple question. If I want and need Jesus to heal that broken something inside me, I just need to answer him. My life isn't a race, and Jesus doesn't help just a lucky few. The fastest or the most worthy, he is here to help me overcome the obstacles holding me back it's just time i pick up my mat and walk 
John 5, 9, Heidi Gall. Faith Step, research ways to overcome and or adapt to a physical or emotional infirmity. Apply at least one step daily as you take up your mat and walk. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Please remember that I love you and so does Jesus and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.